Putley's always been an extraordinary parish for fruit growing. There was a great orchard heritage that came from 150 years ago from the, from the estate and that, can, that tradition continues to this day. The young squire that came here in the 1870s, John Riley, he realised that the estate he'd recently bought would be ripe for modern orcharding. Didn't quite know how to do it, so he found a man that could, and that man was my great-grandfather, Harry Taylor. I got to know Anna Norman, and uh, we had a couple of meetings, uh, and some cider was taken, and uh, at the end of these meetings, we decided it'd be really quite an interesting thing to try making our own cider. The whole reason for, for Once Upon a Tree, in my mind, was to, to capture the, you know, the apples that were here, the, the, the wonderful orchard that we're on. You know, I'd say that good wines made in the vineyard, I think the same applies with cider. Good cider is made with good apples. What I wanted to do was to try and express the, those flavours, the, the sense of place in a bottle. Um, and with a winemaking background, I felt uh, that the best way was to approach it as a winemaker and treat with it, you know, the most respect the apples that were coming in, uh, press them well, look after the, the whole process all the way through, um, and not try and layer in too many flavours necessarily, but just let the apples do the talking. We've got a, a, a large wine press that we use to press our, our apples here. It's a very gentle process. Um, and uh, it's, it's quite different than the traditional pack press, which we did start off using. But as we grew, uh, and with our future plans for winemaking as well, we, we favoured a wine press. Um, and so you probably won't see that many other places in the UK. We grow a, an interesting range of cider apples, um, which helps uh, explain why we're able to produce such good ciders. And because we're so well placed and we've got such fantastic stories and heritage around us, we very much wanted to reflect that in the names of our products. We live in Putley. Um, one of our ciders is a golden colour. So we had a very long marketing meeting over breakfast one morning and decided, I think we'll call it Putley Gold. And we have done local walks where we actually drink the landscape. We'll walk over to Chapel Pleck, um, open a bottle of Chapel Pleck. Um, we'll get to the wonder and uh, have a wander around that and drink some of the uh, dessert pear wine. And when we get to the bottom, we just have to force a little drop of tumpy ground through our protesting teeth. The majority of our, our Once Upon a Tree cider is sold in the UK. Um, and we've got places nationally, uh, mostly independent bottle shops. What has changed is the last three years we've been selling increasing amounts to America. So our production levels have gone from 2007 we made 7,000 litres. This year we'll have made 250,000 litres in total of cider. We used to have a small shop on site here and uh, it was very well attended by local people but not many people knew about it. There was an opportunity arose to have a store in Ledbury and uh, it's a very small shop. And what I felt was missing uh, in Herefordshire was Herefordshire cider, the ability to actually go to a shop and see lots and lots of Herefordshire ciders. And particularly on draft, um, you couldn't actually go in and fill a jug. And that's something that people would often relate to me as the memory of going to a, a cider producer with an empty flag, an empty bottle, whatever you want to contain your cider in, getting it filled from the barrel uh, and, and buying it in that form. And I felt that that was really important to try and uh, bring that back and, and do that in this in the small shop. We stock over uh, I don't know, nearly 200 different ciders in there from probably 30 odd different local producers. Herefordshire cider is such a good product. Uh, we really should be proud of what we're producing in Herefordshire. Uh, we've got such a strong heritage and culture of cider making here uh, and that is being reimagined and revitalised with all the new producers that are uh, that are out there now, all producing some really fantastic cider, a whole range of different flavours and styles. So there's something for everybody. So yeah, I'd, I'd just like to see that um, Herefordshire really gets itself put on the map and people will be very, very proud to drink it wherever they are in the world. <laughs>